This is indeed in the vision of Cox, and he does have an immortal and some units here, but he decides not to kill it. We see Dark Which Templars coming yeah, in. It's no observer, Zane. No observer. Cox has an observer, but Bolar does not. Probes Maybe dying left and right to wrecking. an observer being chronobusted out. The Nexus is almost completed. And Cox does notice the hidden Nexus in his base and decides to send his units to kill it. Will it kill it? The probe time? dies. Okay. The Nexus will finish before it dies. Will we see the mass recall? We're going to see. We see the uh, observer here. Okay. DTs get cleaned up. We see one probe left for Ballard, and the recall goes down. The recall. Recall. Okay. And the photon overcharge. Nice. Who's gonna win the fight? I can don't know. can Ballard win with one probe and, and the counter not, photon, overcharge. photon overcharge? But the Nexus is out of range of each other. Yeah. picked off. This is huge for Ballard. But I think this photon overcharge will push him back. You need to focus down those same trees that almost yeah. loaded. Volor doesn't even have his observer here with his army. Yes, another model, but and Cox recognizes that, sending in a Dark Templar genius play oh, from Cox. Oh, oh. Killing one and unit. He gets the sentries. The sentries go down nearly. He's targeting down the, the low health units. And GG goes you. down. Wow, what what ingenious players from both sides. If only GSL was that exciting. Yeah. GSL finals, of course. Innovation losing 4-3. to three In an epic series against Solkey. But not as epic as this. Did you see that one coming, Zane? I did not. I mean, that, that entire game was just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say after that game. <laughs> I mean... Bollard built the Nexus in Cox's base when he had vision of it. I mean, Cox had vision of his entire base, but Bollard still, he was still dedicated. He still wanted to build the Nexus, and he built it. And it finished, and he recalled, and he overcharged it. But, of course, that's not enough when you only have one probe. If he had an observer there, if he brought that observer along, do you think he could have won? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, his army was... Of course, he did vote and overcharge his Nexus, but Cox overcharged his as well. So, like... They, they both couldn't really attack into each other. And, of course, when the worker counts 40 against one, then you can build your army a lot faster than the other player. <laughs> this is true. 40 workers so is bigger than we, one. we do have a 3-2. Okay, the next map is going to be Akalon Waste. What do you know about this map when it comes to PvP? This map is really good for proxies. You see proxies all the time on this map because it's just so big. There's so many places to hide it. You have a lot of a lot of places where you can put a proxy stargate and have routes into the natural, routes into the main. You can mm -hmm. get a proxy robo, get immortals out, do fast pushes. You can do proxy twilight councils. You can do... I once saw someone do a proxy five gate on this map at the <laughs> third and that was not well done but still very was very innovative were innovative. you the one who did the build by any chance no it was okay it gsl was voice time in the top left corner of the map we have the loser of the last game but still leading the series three to two he is ACL and in the right bottom right corner of the map winning the game with his ingenious dark templar play we have ACL cooked and it looks like we won't see any proxies this game. At least no proxy gates or cannon rushes. Oh, we could see a cannon rush though. Well, I guess. Bollard does send out the 9 probe. As usual. I mean, there seems to be something he wants to do every game, except when the map is Novice Kulos Ravine. <laughs> Scouting the right base this time. Yeah, this is a two-player map. So, I mean, this is a two-player two map, and the, the building, the spawn locations are pretty clear. You do sometimes see players going to the wrong base. For example, I do know somebody who took, who went past this natural base, past this third base, went round here to the fourth and took this as, as his second base. I will not name the player. Who Do you think that kind of play worked? It did not work. <laughs> and we do see a hidden probe from Bollard that is scouted by Cox. Oh. But the probe has not done anything yet. But Cox did see it, but that has to erase some suspicion. I think I think this is going to be some more proxy Stargate. Mm -hmm. 
We do I mean, see there are so many places to we put do that see down. a miss rally from Cox. There's a probe here not doing anything. Two probes here not doing anything. Two pull the probes. Three and now one of them decides to mine gas and the other one decides to mine minerals. We have a very, they, very fast transfer approach. They were split from each other. See the cybernetic score from Cox is slightly faster. About ten seconds. Similar gas timings for both players though. Bollard Bollard again does not want to take the gas. And we see Bollard's probe hiding at the, at this base down here. Do you think we're going to see another proxy stargate at this position? I think we can. There is that probe is suspiciously hidden. Mm hmm The second gas is underway. So that strategy just seemed likely. And he takes a second. I mean Bollard's leading three two, but every game he's won has been thanks to those Stargate units. So do you think maybe he's just gonna say, okay, rest of the series, Stargate only? I think Stargate is what you need, but I really like the cannon rush on maps like this. Yeah, this is a great cannon rush map. In particular this place here that I'm highlighting. You can put a pylon and a cannon and create a wall. And then cannon push into the mineral line. We do see Cox is also hiding a probe though, if we look at the north side of the map. But this is this position is slightly further to his opponent's main base than Bollard's probe is. So that could suggest maybe a proxy Twilight Council and Dark Shrine. Because of course it doesn't matter where you put the Dark Shrine. Because wherever it is you can make Dark Templars. Is it just me, Zane, or both players got probes on the other player on the other side of the map? I think Bollard has probes everywhere. He has a probe here. And one here. <laughs> so it looks like he wants to maybe proxy himself. Take a hidden sneaky nexus. I think I think he's taking you could take a quick nexus of that place. Oh we do see the Stargate the Stargate is inside Bollard's base, so he didn't want to go for that sneaky sneaky proxy location. Where did the probe go? Where did it go? Oh <laughs> I think the stalker killed him. <laughs> oh one of the stalkers killed him. Poor probe. I didn't think that probes we could see blink. A three stalker push. Three stalker push. That's gonna be pretty dangerous considering Bollard only has two and no. Well, the mothership call is not out yet. Oh, another another stalker pops out for Bollard. But then again, another stalker. But, but warp three to two. Warp gate's gonna finish. Good focus. Micro fire. fight. Good micro. Cox, and the mothership Cox. Comes out. Yeah, but three stalkers can beat this if you micro. Uh, nearly losing the stalker, 12 HP, will it die? No, he backs up. Wolfgate and Wolfgate finishes, so this aggression is on hold. But, that said, there is a proxy pile on here. We could see some two-gate aggression. A probe here for Cox looks like it wants to make something, but... Three gateways against two. Who do you think will win this fight? Uh, I think two... No, three Three is the bigger number. So three oh, should win. And the Void Ray. He does, he does get vision of this Stargate, so he knows what's going on. So with that information, he can decide what to put down, and he decides to put down two Stargates. Two Stargates. This is a very arrogant choice by Cox. He's saying, I'm better with Stargates than you are. He's trying to beat Bollard at his own game. That's I know. what he's trying to do. Do you think it will work? Do you like this? Hmm. It depends. I think this is a good choice. I don't think Bollard would ever expect Cox to be able to ex think he could beat him at his own game. And we do see Void Rays are the units of choice for Bollard. And we see 100 Chrono Energy on Cox's Nexus. Whereas Bollard only has 40. And now using it and going down to 17. So, Cox being very arrogant, saying, I can beat you without Chrono Boost. I think he, this is what he's been saving up his Chrono Boost for. He makes Phoenixes. Phoenixes will be the choice. It will be Phoenixes against Void Rays. Oh, and he does use the Chrono. Looks like I I really like this decision by uh by Fox. Those Phoenixes will do a massive amounts of damage. And Bollard has a lot of zealots which cannot shoot upwards or cannot hit upwards. But they should. David can please. Yes. Marines can zealots should be able to do also. Uh -huh. But not Zerglings. No, Zerglings of course not. Up. You have you have mutilists for that. Yeah. Okay, it looks like Bollard has no intention of expanding oh, by the looks Bollard of it. Bollard scouts Cox's expansion. Do you think he's going to push out? He pushes out. An he's aggressive warp in. 
the Phoenixes, two of them right now, the third in production, being hidden for the time being. The Nexus is going to finish, which is huge because, of course, the Nexus has to be finished in order to use Photo and Overcharge on it. And that's going to be crucial in defending this three Void Ray push. The units come down, but he backs up, nearly losing a Stalker. Oh, Cox is getting out some Void Rays of yeah, his own. Cox has a Void Ray with a second in production. Almost equal the number of. Mm -hmm. He needs to get a photo on overcharge on that Nexus well, the if he hopes to defend. Yeah, but he, he has a full energy sentry so he can just force build this ramp. Photon overcharge can, goes down. He can, he can force build this ramp. Maybe. Oh, Pollard's Mothership Core dies. Using a time warp though before it does. Huge Miss Micro losing a Void Ray. This is his Mothership Core yeah. as well. He won't be able to get a second. That's huge. And Cox loses a Void Ray due to Miss Micro. And now and his, his second Void Ray is base. going to die as well by the looks of it. Do you think this is GG? Cox. Wow, Bollard runs past the Nexus with both an overcharge into the main base with a huge and army. Bollard has some reinforcing stock because I think this could. If we look at the army value, we can see zero for Cox and GG. Wow. And Do Bollard will leave the lead the series four to two. Match point, ace match. Wow. It seems that that's how Bollard's won all his games so far. <laughs> void rate one base void rate pushes. I really need to try this void rate play out. Uh huh. I ex I expect to see it in GSL, OSL, WCS very soon. Dreamhack, Iron Squid, Iron Squid very soon. Do you know if there's going to be a, sec a third Iron Squid? Um, I think there will be. Given given how popular the last one was. Uh, Life won the last one, if I'm not mistaken, and MMA before him. I think you are correct. Mm -hmm. So the next map is going to be Cru uh, Crux Frost. This is a new map uh, introduced by Team Liquid. There was a Team Liquid map contest and this was the winner, so this will be an exciting new map. Have you? Do you have any experience with this map, Scott? No, but I really like the name. Crux Frost. Yes. What do you know about the map, Dane? I know nothing about the map, except that it won the Team Liquid Map Contest, so this will be an interesting map. Oh. It's a very Brood War-esque map, if you look at it. Uh-huh. We'll, which the viewers will be able to soon, as we are in the lobby for the map. So, um, this is a map that probably will be on ladders soon, because Blizzard has expressed interest in the Team Liquid map contest. So, take notes on the map, because you'll, be ha you'll have to play in it soon. Unless you veto it, which you are allowed to do. Do you veto any maps, Scott? Well, depends what race I'm playing. What race do you prefer to play? When I'm playing Protoss, I normally veto Star Station and Neo Planet S. Being extremely difficult for Protoss players to take a third base on. Mm hmm. What do you veto, Zane? Do you veto? I don't do veto. play them all. I vetoed the two crap maps from last season, but they've been removed. Okay, on the top right of Crux Frost. The new map from the, the winner of the Team Liquid map contest. We have ACU Cooks. And one game away from winning, we have ACU Buller. And we have two probes being sent out. Two. Ooh. Probes. He wants. He wants to scout out his opponent. He wants to scout out his opponent <laughs> now, and he wants to put down a proxy pile. If, and I think if you were going to scout, you wouldn't send the probes out this early. This means something. This means proxy gates are coming. I think it does. Eh? Or maybe cannon rush? No, I don't think you would send them out this soon for a cannon rush. And we see Bollard's probe goes in, sees where Cox spawns, but well, and Co he puts on the proxy pile on. <laughs> Cox had vision of it, but did he see the probe? Was he paying he attention? Did. He's scouting, I mean, and he's gonna see it. He scouts out. He scouts, he scouts it. Out the probe. How is he going to respond? What would you do? He had 30 APM. 
and he still had the time to see it. He puts down a second uh, pylon. Two pylons going down. He's Let dedicated to this. <laughs> Probe's coming down to kill the the, the pylon. <laughs> Is this the smartest choice? Does he have enough room to make a second gateway? Um, <laughs> no, maybe. I don't think that he has. Yeah. Okay. It looks like a second pylon's going down, serving two pur two purposes. First of all, he'll be able to power the gateway because this pylon's going to die, and then he will be able to build the second gateway. That will make this proxy gate work. In the main, Cox doing what he should be, just continuing to make probes. And uh, he walls in the four probes, five <laughs> probes, four probes. Oh, those probes are walled in, that's huge. Now now his his economy is significantly hurt. You know hurt. what, Zane? I like this play. Do you know why, Zane? Why? Because the Zealot's going to have to come in on the inside if he wants to deal with those probes, and that will significantly delay them. <laughs> yeah, that's true as well. And then, if it's on the inside, he has to kill the pylon to get out, or that's just wasted Zealot. Or he could kill the Zealot. So... B Bollard having to face some severe moral dilemmas here. Do I send the Zealot in or out? Do I trap my own Zealot and kill the probes or do I go out and send it into Cox's mineral line? I think he has to send it in because AFK way is going down very yeah. well. <laughs> but Cox has a correct response. More probes than the other p player mm -hmm. and double gateway for Zealots. Right, and the Zealot is on the inside. The Zealot's this going to buying, kill... This is buying the Zealot kills the four probes. And now what will he do? He decides to kill the pylon instead of this gateway. But does this pylon does the pylon on the right power the gateway on the left on the left? <laughs> no, apparently. The third, <laughs> so pylon is down. the third pylon. But this is heavily delaying the solids. You should be pushing into the base with. Yeah, Co Cox point. has two gateways. He's crowning Zolts. He even is confident enough to throw down a gas and a cybernetics core. The zealot finally escapes. Two zealots. Cox has two as well though. Two Zealots versus two Zealots. And he gets the first hit. hit on the Zealots. That is health. And, Co we'll and Cox's out. Zealots have that dark skin that you can only get for being like level 25 or something. Oh, and we have three Zealots versus three Zealots. Mi oh, amazing oh, Micro oh. pulling back the 23 health Zealot. Oh, will he kill this Zealot? Uh, amazing Micro from both sides, not losing a single Zealot. But they are in the red and health does not come back. A supply block from Cox. <laughs> Having to throw around two pylons so we can resume zealot production. If he gets enough gas to get down a mothership core, I think that will be the end of this. Yeah, we can see that Cox has a gas, but Bollard doesn't. Bollard does decide to throw around a pylon in his main base. But probably, Bollard, probably Bollard for the sake of the side base core. And two probes. If he takes up an engagement, he can just mineral walk through the zealots and get us around. I think that will. Will we see such amazing micro this game? I hope so. Six zealots versus four. S six zealots because of that supply block. He needs to run back. He needs to run oh, back. He needs to run. He gets surrounded. He does a lot of damage. Could we that. could we see Cox lose the series to a proxy gate? The mothership core is almost out. And zealots pop out. I think another zealot's going to come out soon. Another zealot will come out. Another zealot comes out soon. And the the mothership, mothership core. Cox. Bollard, ha Bollard has no units that can kill the zealots. I mean, Bollard has no units oh, that can hit the mothership see this core. Six zealot placement. Oh, yeah, blocking, but it does good. die. But, will, will Bollard lose all of his probes before the Mothership Core kills everything? The Mothership Core, of course, does less damage per second than anything else, the almost. Mother the Zealots focus down the Nexus. I don't, I don't like this decision by... No, he should definitely be going for those probes. Nexus Zealots come out. Shutting oh. down the Artosis Pylon. That is a big pylon, but... The Zealot, two Zealots here just chilling. One Zealot now chilling. Zealot not doing anything. There he goes. And that is some reinforcing dollars. Suiciding I, everything onto the pylon. The mothership core has six kills. Mental mothership core. Bollard takes it. Walker the pylon's gonna finish. The two zealots gonna pop out. And wow, how did Cox hold this? I don't know. I need to study this. I need to like, take the notes. I need to use stuff like this. Oh wow. And it is two zealots for each player, but Cox has the mothership core. If we look at the the work the work account, we can see that Cox still has two more than his opponent. I mean, he's. Wow, that micro keeping that zealot oh, in the choke. It in with the pros. <laughs> Cox, Cox's nexus is rallied, mis rallied, but he fixes it. Photon overcharge goes down. Over I think this is the end. It looks, of this. it looks like this rush has been held. I mean, it looked like Cox was in such a good position, then he got supplier blocked, and it looks like he, it looked like he was dead. But amazing crisis management. Zane. And micro. 
Cox has warp gate researching and has been researching during that battle. He will have his warp gate up a and good minute before yeah, Bollard, Bollard does. Yeah, Bollard's sniping his core just finishing now. Warp gate not started yet, but it should do because he has 100 gas. But I don't mm. think he'll have any warp gates for it because I think these gateways will be cleaned off. Yeah, as soon as as soon as soon um, this is a lot dies, then he can go down and just kill these two pylons, these two gateways for free. Oh, he's getting a stalker out. A s okay, Bollard opts to go for stalkers, yes. Two stalkers. I mean, that's a great choice. These two stalkers can kill the mothership core. Well, I think he's going to kill that pylon before it comes out. He does. Yeah. And I think he will, might be able to kill the other pylon before that comes out as well. Yeah, but he, it looks like he is instead going to decide to kill the gateway. Sending ones out on the pylon. Good choice. Mm -hmm. He needs to put two gateways in his main. He wants to follow this up with mm -hmm. some. Still no warp gate on the way for Bollard. Do you think we might see air weapons ever one? And no, as I say that warp gate instead. No air weapons ever won this game. The stalker comes out. Did but you know, with one... this good enough micro, that stalker can do some serious damage. Yeah, uh, and it takes only a few people in the world are capable of that level of micro. And luckily, Bollard is one of them. You're lucky to be watching this game. Mhm. Uh -huh. Warp gate is done for Cox, turning he's gonna turn his three gateways into warp gates. Mining a lot of gas with his double assimilators. Sending out a probe. Oh if we look if we look at the vision of Cox, we can see he still doesn't know where his opponent has spawned because he was so busy <laughs> dealing with that uh, intense proxy gate situation. He so takes a Nexus behind this. Do you Nexus think this is the right decision? Um I think it is actually. He he has such a lead, he can be afford to be aggressive and take this nexus behind it. But he's he's going to find out where his opponent is first. I mean, he needs to. The three zealots are sent being sent down here. He discovers his opponent's not there, but the zealots change direction. Good. Mm. And Bollard is going to go for a third gate to match Cox's. Will we see a fourth? We don't see a second gas, so that does indicate aggression rather than well it indicates gateway aggression rather than tech and well, we do see a fourth gate that, that is an old in play at this point in the game proxy if gate that, wow that aggression fails mm -hmm. be the end of this proxy gate into four gate how can somebody sleep at night when how can you sleep at night when you're this cheesy i don't know i hope i never have to know the answer to that question and we do see a robotics facility going down for cox 100 energy on his nexus I think Cox finally finds out where his opponent is. And 12 minutes into the game, Cox finds out where his opponent is, not by scouting him, but by elimination. He knows he's not at the bottom right, he knows he's not at the bottom left, and he knows he's not at the top right because that's his spawning location, so he can only conclude his opponent is in the top left. Mothership Core is out for Bollard, but it's not coming to help with this push. The mothership core for Cox has a lot of energy. This will be nearly this should be an easy hold. Mm -hmm. Especially with those force fields. But he needs to force field the ramp! Lose. Will he force field the ramp? He, he could he can take this. If he if he gets a good sick force field trapping force field. a stalker for free. Force field! Force field! How'd you go to force field do force field do force field? Sentries are my good back! He doesn't lose any sentries! <laughs> force field do Oh my god. Amazing micro. Amazing micro. And the mothership core is still chilling in the main base of Bollard. Full still to Photon over Overcharge. <laughs> and we see a warp prism coming across the map for Cox. Oh my god, we Bollard is a genius. We we criticize him for leaving this mothership core at home, but he knew Cox would make this warp prism and he left it at home just to deal with the warp prism. Amazing mind read by Bollard. You can really tell Bollard knows what his opponent's gonna do. And he puts down those pylons for vision. Yeah, like he knows it's coming. He like he doesn't have vision, but he knows it's there. Even killing the rocks. Killing the rocks while he waits for the photon overcharge to go away. Of course, Cox does have enough energy for a second one. I think I think we are about to see some sick force fields. If he can force field the stalkers in with the photon overcharge pressed against the zealots, I think that will spell the end of this aggression. Yeah, He'll I mean to warp in some more zealots, and he will be good to go. Yeah, but Bollard. He gets the immortal out. Oh, he doesn't get the sick. Yeah, force. but Bollard knows what's up. He's he like. He knows the sport prisms here. Why else would he leave the mothership core in his main? Oh, the the warp the warpins get put at the proxy pylon. 
if there's a warp in at this. And we see Cox has a probe at the natural base of his there opponent. There's a warp in at the warp prism. I don't think I don't think Bollard has an answer to this one. And the mothership core moves forward as soon as as soon as they get warped in. Perfect read. Time warp. <laughs> I don't think that's the right choice because the time warp he didn't do anything. <laughs> the time warp. Delaying the Zealot's attack by half a second. Pulling his army back. Enough energy for a photon overcharge nearly. And if we look at the worker count, it's 35 to 10. Photon overcharge goes down. Hmm. I don't think that was necessary, but... Bolo knew what was going on, but Cox, but Cox was too good. He still managed to do damage with it. Yeah. It's like parting, man. You know he's doing more, like... A few months ago, you knew he would do a mortal sentry, but what can, even if you know he's gonna do it, what can you do when no. his micro is just that good? Such a gifted player, parting. Mm -hmm. It's a shame he hasn't won anything in like a long time. Very long time. Do you think the next? Do you think the OSL will be his, or will it be Reigns? I, th I think it will be a Zerg player, and neither of those players do plays the Zerg race, unfortunately for them. But fortunate for me. Or because is I can it copy them. them. They have they have honor of the Protoss race. That, that is true. It depends what you care about more, money or honor. We do see three zealots from this pi proxy pylon, but Cox has an answer with three zealots of his own and four more being warped in. Cox's oh. army is in the middle, but wow. he has an immortal, and immortals do a lot of damage against Stalker. I mean, if he gets sick force fields. Bollard lost all of his zealots, zealots, but that was amazing in micro. When before the four zealots got warped in. Cox, uh, Bollard managed to kill all of Cox's zealots oh, without losing and any. here comes the push. The push. There's a second immortal chilling in the base. He needs to do something with that. Yeah. Oh, sick force. Force, force still do. If he wow, force on overcharge. Very good fight. And that is a very good fight. Perfect choice by Cox pulling back. All his all his and zealots have such low HP because he, he pulled the them back. Into a choke. He needs more force. More field. force field. Force Guardian field. shield. Pulling oh. back. Four zealots being warped in. This epic food. micro fight. Four sick, four four two. <laughs> Good oh, game, well played. Goes down and well Cox and Cox is going to continue. Make the show match continue. Wow, what an interesting game from from the the two gate proxy into the four gate into the warp prism and those those six force fields. Wow, that that was the game. And force fields. I mean, if that was the last game, I would have been satisfied, but we still have two more, potentially two more. One more game, at least. Mm -hmm. At least. And the next map is going to be a personal favourite of mine. Ohana, Ellie. Ohana, what does Ohana mean? It means family, and family means no one gets left behind. Do you think that's true for the Protoss race? Yeah, of course. Pro a Protoss, a true Protoss, would never leave another Protoss behind. So this is an interesting map. I mean, it was one of the first maps to like non-Korean made maps to be played in Korean tournaments, like the GSL. Because uh, the first being Cloud Kingdom, this is the second. What do you like about this map? And what's your favorite part of this? My map? favorite part of this map is that it means family. My second favorite part of the map is actually I don't really like the map to be honest. <laughs> But, what? but I guess interesting features about the map include the rocks at your natural base, creating two pathways into it. And there are lots of places to hide stuff. You can cannon rush is particularly strong on this yeah, map. Yeah, this, you this can is have a good cannon rush map. Proxy stargates, proxy robo base, proxy DTs. The Not possibilities are endless. After that last game, do you think we're going to see another proxy gate? You know what? I think it will be. Because that will be the last thing Cox will be expecting. He won't be the. He will. He would not expect another proxy. I know. Is that the third in a row or just the second? Second, second in a row. Unfortunately, I mean, if if all proxy gate games were as epic as that last one, then I wish every game was a proxy gate game. I do as well, Zane. I do as well. But unfortunately, not everybody has the balls to proxy gate every single game. We can't all be combat X. Th that said, I. I do want to see a cannon rush this series, even if it's only one. Do you think it will be this map? Do you think this will be the map of cannon rushes? Um, 
I'm not sure. I mean, I did play Bollard in a in a best of seven once, and he did cannon rush me one game. So it, it means he's he's fairly familiar with the the cannon rush. So he might go for it. But he he was up four to two, and now it's four to three. I mean, when you're at four to two, you're feeling you feel calm. You can throw away a few games, but four to three, man. I mean, that's getting kind of close. Is. If he loses this game to a proxy, then I think I think Cox will gain the momentum and he might win. Mhm. Mm yeah, and I think hmm, it's gonna be interesting to see whether Bollard decides to mix it up this game or go for his tried and true Stargate play. Personally, I would I like think. I would like to see mass Oracle play. I mean, I'm t I'm not talking about one or two. That's not mass. I'm talking about like ten oracles. If we saw that many oracles. I think that would make for a very interesting game. In the bottom right hand corner of Ohana, we have Green Protoss, winner of the last game. I see you, Cooks! In the top left of on Ohana, the yellow Protoss leading the series 4 to 3, he is. I see you, Bola! Mm hmm, and we do see no probes have been sent out for either player yet, so. No our, proxy gate. Our dreams of, late proxy gate. Our dreams of proxy gates being cut and torn to pieces. But you can still pro you can still cannon rush, so we might see some uber fast tricky cheese aggression. Is it really called cheese though, or is it just tactical play? I would have to ask Bradley. Bollard is of course the cheese connoisseur. The decision to term to classify a cheese as a cheese is is entirely his decision. Is it his and his alone? His and his alone. Sorry, Winston. And this is this very interesting pylon placement by Cox. This pylon placement says, I don't want to mine this gas this assimilator, and I want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> if, the only thing that would make this, this pylon placement better is, is if he built, builds a second pylon directly south of it. And then he's saying, "I like, there's no way I'm gonna, even gonna like pretend to mine gas." I like, still think you can mine at full speed if you block it like that. Full speed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I still think three workers can saturate that because you can you can do that with your spawning pool. Yeah, but <laughs> we don't play so these zones aren't zergs. Spawning pools have magical properties. That is true. They make some of the and best units in the Oh, game. we see a, a pylon being built inside the main base by Bollard, but they're being cancelled because he. Oh. he and then another one being built, and then the probe's gonna leave. Wow, That's this another one. I thought that was a forge, but it, will it get scouted out? And Cox it and and, out. and Cox just put z zero workers in this gas. He really doesn't like gas, <laughs> does he? I think he likes gas. No gas this game. The Cybernetics core goes down. Of course, what I think's gonna happen is Bars gonna come in, see the Cybernetics core. He's going to think. Cybernetic score implies gas being mined, but there is no gas being mined. Okay, well now there is. Right. Three minutes, thirty seconds of the game. Takes the other gas. Takes the other gas. Amazing mind games by Cox. What do you think these double pylons in front of the gas means? I think these two pylons mean I don't want to. I, w I want you to send in a hallucination and laugh, and then while you laugh, I will kill you. Wow, that could be true. Because if we look at the APMs. Both players about 50. I'm sure when he sees that, he's going to be too busy laughing and his APM will drop to about 30. Okay. Yeah, the probes can it's still it's not that bad. I, okay. But <laughs> still. <laughs> okay. And we see... Bollard took his second gas but hasn't put anyone anything in it. Could we see a 4 gate? And we see, we see Cox... Oh, I think this is a 4 gate. I think... Bollard okay, the if we look at the production tab, we can see that Cox hasn't started walk gate yet. <laughs> Very interesting. And a he cancels his robo and builds a Stargate instead. Wow. Some indecisiveness by Cox. He must really be feeling the pressure. I mean, if you know that you're one game away from losing, then nerves are going to get to you. And then he starts walk gate very, very late. See a probe fight, Mortal Kombat going down. Who will win? Cox does decide to. to Cox is the winner. He cakes the tower. Bollard does not want to risk losing this precious probe. And the Stargate does finish for Bollard with Cox's slightly later because he built the robo robotics facility first. 
Third gateway going down for Cox. Slightly Pollard's warp gate later is than so than much Pollard. faster. I think. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what Mothership I. Mothership cord just popping for Cox. Bollard still not even in production yet. Bollard is making Mortal Kombat probe damage. fight. Cox's probe being forced to pull back. That's and then goes back in for the fight. The stalker comes in. That's cheating. Wow. And I think that will it die? Probe, it will go down. And it goes down. All life is precious, even the life of a robot probe. And we see okay. Both players going for Stargate, but Bollard's decided to go for Void Ray and Co and Cox and Oracle. Hmm. How do you think this will play out? I think the Oracle. And the proxy pylon goes down. I think the Oracle's a great choice. I mean, he knows Bollard's like been really aggressive lately. So like, when the Oracle goes in, Bollard's army will probably be like on his side of the map. So that Oracle will be able to do massive damage. Cox is banking a lot of Wow, Co Cox and he decides to take Cox it. playing so greedy, going for an Oracle and a Nexus. He doesn't even have a sentry and a void ray is coming out and Cox. Warp Gate finished, but he doesn't want to turn these into Warp Gate. Just now doing it. Very late. I mean uh, I think this Oracle will do some serious, serious damage. Yeah, but he, he won't be able to hold this Nexus. I mean Bollard's likely going to attack before it finishes, which means that Cox won't be able to use Photon Overcharge on it. And he warp Cox warps in more Zealots. I mean, he really needs a sentry to be able to force field this ramp, because if Bollard runs up the ramp, he will win. I mean, Cox's army is all Zealots, and Zealots can't tip Void Rays, unfortunately. And oh, wow. and the Oracle goes in! How the, the, Oracle go the Oracle goes in! Just chilling! <laughs> oh, it's, it goes in! Oracle, one oh, kill, two oh, kill, three oh, kill, slow reaction time from three, Bollard. If we look at the APM oh, tab, we can see it skyrocket six, until uh, nearly 100. The Oracle killing, seven. wow, eight kills. That's 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 a successful eight. Oracle. But can he hold the counter? The, the Void Ray being Miss Micro, okay, losing the Void Ray free. Micro, Photon yeah. overcharge needs to go down, 1,000 minerals for Cox. Will this be the end of Cox? Bollard pulling all the probes, he's going for, for a complete all-in. Wow, another Void Ray coming out. Playing Terran with the pro brush. He Bollard all, thinks he's all, playing. Because he's going for it. He is going all in. This and Void Ray. <laughs> Willy. Oh, there is a big cancel the on that. Vote on overcharge, sniping a Void Ray. That's a huge That's move. Void Ray, and he charges, but will he focus down the Void Ray? He needs to focus down the Void Vo Ray. He Cox needs to pull it back. Cox needs to pull it back. If we go into the main base of Bollard, we can it's see a Void Ray the chilling. The Void Ray goes down. He kills the stalk. He sets it up. He's going for the. Wow. Ball. I think this is the end of this aggression. Cox holds. Perfect decision making. Cox holds. The probe's going back to mine, but it doesn't matter. 11 probes to 26. The Void Ray in the main base of Bollard can't mine, it's and GG it. is called. We're gonna go to an ace match. Wow. For the first time in this series, Bollard loses with his Stargate play. Oh, I think. I think Cox has been secretly practicing Stargate. Just for when he's 4-2 down and needs to be like, I need Stargate to win. And then he goes Stargate and wins. Because we are now in the, the ace match. The deciding game. The ace match. The deciding game. Oh, and it will be on Cloud Kingdom. Cloud Kingdom. What do you know about this map, Zane? This is, well, Antigua Shipyard was used to be known as the King of Blink maps. But that's a map that no one ever plays on anymore because it sucks. So this is the new King of Blink maps, Cloud Kingdom. I mean, there's so much space for you to blink up, letting you harass your opponent so easily. But that said, uh, the first map is the only map where we saw Blink play and it failed pretty horribly. So it'll be interesting to see whether we do see Blink on this map, or the players will stick to what they like. What they like being Stargate by the, scene, by the looks of it. So do you think we'll be seeing Blink play from one player, or both players, or none? And we'll be seeing a proxy Stargate. Well, after I pimped out Blink to be so good on this map, I, st I still don't think we're going to see Blink on this map. <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, it's the ace match, both players. I mean, there's a lot of honor on the line, honor being very important to a Protoss player. Like Not so much for Zerg, but uh, very important for Protoss. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see mm, Dark Templars. Do you think we're going to see Dark Templars? I hope to see a cannon rush. I hope to see... 
straight mm. up macro play into the late game. I want to see some full base PvP. I think there's way too much on the line for either player to go for a cannon rush. I mean, there's so 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 much that can go wrong when you go for a cannon rush. I think we're gonna see maybe Dark Templar play from Cox and Stargate play from Bollard. I mean, when it's ace match time, and I know you're a fan of ace matches, then you want to do what you've practiced the most because if you do something, if you improvise, it's easy to lose. Okay, on the bottom left position, the green Protoss, he is. I see you, Cooks! And the top right, we have. I see you, Bola! Yes, and it is an ace match. That means the winner of this is the winner and takes all the honor. All of the honor. Who do you think is going to win this okay. one? Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to put my money on Cox. I mean, he has the momentum. Bollard leaded the series 4-2 to two and now it's 4-4. Four to four. I mean, Co I think Cox is going to take three in a row and do not quite the reverse all kill, but I mean, it's close to a reverse all kill. It's, it's like a reverse 3k, but that's... All that matters is it's reverse. Yeah, reverse. Or will, will, will Bollard pull the reverse 1k to take the final game? I don't think that's how reverses work, but okay. I don't. Th I, I think I think Cox is going to take it. What do you think? I think Bollard is sending out two probes, and this is not a four-player. Wow, the the APM player. 50 for both players, and wow, if you look at this probe, we can see it's queued to go here into this little nook. I think Did he see it? Did he see it? I don't think he saw it. He I think this is a cannon rush. Is that a forge? No, it's a gateway. It's wow, we see Cox scouting for stuff and the second probe coming in. Wow, this is a two player map, but two probes were sent. This means this probe is the one that he's gonna show to Cox and say, Look, I'm scouting you, see? But this one's also gonna be in main base. So he Oh wow. and he's <laughs> around the oh. Wow, this is wow. this this has a huge implication on the game. I mean Cox kills that and now he thinks okay now you can't hide a probe in my base but there's one hidden in his base and Cox so paranoid is gonna go back and check for proxy gates but even then he's still not gonna find this probe I mean you check for hidden probes and proxy gates and you don't find one you check again and you still don't find one and then you get supply blocked and then your first zealot's late and then you don't build a cybernetic score I mean the nerves are getting to him I think Everything is on the line. All the money, all the glory, all the honor, all the ladies. Uh huh. They're all on the line here. Everything is on the line. The honor being the most important. The cybernetic score is going to come down a good 10 seconds later than Bollard. I, th I think this could be a full game. Bollard is saving up chronos like crazy. Yeah, and he's not taking a second gas yet. I mean, Bollard so famous for his Stargate play. But this hidden pro, I mean, you can't hide a Stargate in your opponent's main oh, base. Oh, he's so. taking a gas, but I think that's going to be cancelled. This is all like a. Uh, you know what, I'm trying to play Stargate, but actually he's not playing Stargate. Yeah, it's, be a it's like in so the March 2011 GSL MC against July when MC threw down a Nexus and then went for a full gate and then cancelled the Nexus. It's just like that. Except this, of course, much higher level play here. I mean, the meta game changed a lot since 2011 and it's. Player skill has improved uh -huh. drastically. This is actually... See Warp Gate being chronoed, and we see one pro being... Two pro... Okay, oh, two oh, two in each gas. For maximum efficiency mining. I think he wants to do full gate with stalkers. And the pro... He cancels the pro <laughs> on the gateway. He needs, to, he needs to chrono out that. He needs to chrono oh, out that. Cox, Cox deciding not to get Warp Gate. Could we possibly see air weapons level one? No, he gets a Warp Gate. Oh. But it is significant. Very late. And I think... 60 I think seconds late. Close eye on this pro. We, we see two gates. 100 energy oh. for Cox. Cox is trying to come in with this probe scout, but it will be denied by the Zealot Stalker. Uh huh. It does see nothing. <laughs> oh, and Bollard, Bollard takes the two probes off gas, so he only has two probes mining gas right now. Oh. Third gate goes down. Will, will we see a fourth? Okay, oh. here's what's, what's. This is what will be interesting fourth to see. Gate. This is fourth a gate. Fourth gate. And the Robo goes down for Cox. Mothership Call. Mothership. Mothership Core. Now okay. Defend this this is this is gonna be. What can you do if it's the pylon goes down? Straight into your main base, and Cox knows nothing about okay. it. I think this could be the end of the game. Though. Will Bollard make a nexus? That is the question on everybody's mind. Will he make a nexus in his opponent's base or not? It is a question on my mind. I mean, he has no mothership core, but there's nothing from stopping him from building it anyways. 
Sentry comes out. He wants to try to defend this round. But yeah, this, will be, will be if this Sentry gives Cox confidence and be able to defend any Fallgate, he says, if you Fallgate me, I'll just force field. But and you can't force field. Two gates are online. Wow, two and this. Gate operational. And he scouts his He scouts his He knows. He has there's... vision. He has vision. He has vision of the Zealot. And then he. He, and he knows. He's he knows. He sees it. He wow. Sees it and he has, oh. Amazing force field. Making the Zealots um, uh, move yeah, for a bit. Two stalkers on the low ground, two stalkers on Amazing the from Pollard, killing the, killing the high ground stalker he from Cox. Photon overcharge needs to go down. Photon overcharge goes down, the monitor coin needs to pull back and not die. Wild gate finishes, a mortal on the way. The mortal comes out, he'll be able to defend the over, over 600 minerals for both players. Wild getting spent. Pollard, Pollard uh, spends it. Second pylon. The, cy the cybernetics core is outside of the protection range of Photon Overcharge, so he can kill it, and then Cox will only be able to make Zealots out of his warp gates. And but if a Robo, if an immortal comes out, pokes forward with the mothership core. That's very dangerous. He needs to keep this mothership core alive. If he can delay long enough for a second Photon Overcharge, then he'll be fine. Observer goes into the main base of Cox to make uh, Brollard to make sure what's going on. The immortal comes out. The immortal is going to be key in defending this. We can see that Bollard's army is almost entirely stalkers. The side is caught under fire. Photon overcharge dissipates. Needs to pull probes. Needs to pull probes. Second immortal. And the immortal goes down. I think this is easy. Cox has a supply lead somehow. Cox has a supply lead because of his probe advantage, but the, in terms of army, he's down by a lot. Once this immortal comes out, he needs to pull probes to defend. Yeah, probes and immortals can defend this, but maybe not with those. He needs to warp in. Pull probes, he can't lose that immortal. It's oh, crucial. A micro! Pull the immortal back, the immortal dies. The probes, no, mirror walk. Three zealots, he's gonna trap the stalkers. He pulls the probes back. He's gonna bring them back again. Immortal being chronoed. Is this the end of Cox's run? No, I think I think he can clean up these stalkers. He cleans up. Amazing micro trapping the stalkers with the probes. He manages to hold. Look, look at the HP on the zealots. Oh my god. Oh, oh. what a two HP zealot survives. Purely to the micro, nothing to do with luck there. Oh, the immortals coming out. He needs to warp in more units. What on earth happened to game? How how did he manage to hold it? I don't know, but the cyber call goes down. But I don't think that's that big. He can spend the gas on the immortal. Yeah, he does have the robo facility. And looks like Bollard's going for pure, pure zealot follow up. Excellent choice considering there's immortals here. Focusing the pylon. Mothership. The mothership core is out. Immortal. The mothership core needs to come forward. Oh no. Maybe. He kills it. Okay. He, need, he can't lose this mothership core. He, he needs to wait for Photon Overcharge. The mothership core is going to be focused down. But he focuses down. He focuses it down. Oh, it. Oh, he's killing the he, stalkers. The mothership core dying is huge, but he sacrificed so many stalkers to do it. Oh, the immortal is going to win. Micro Zealots. The immortal is going to focus down the stalker. Target firing five kills on this immortal. And now we see the supplies in favor. I mean, the worker count is still in favor for Cox, but pulling probes anyways, just to be sure. The observer is still in the base here, seeing that there's no additional attack, and it looks like Cox held, warping, even warping in a sentry. Wow! And the the proxy pylons. The proxy pylons have all been killed. Where do you go from here in Bollard's position? No, but I think Cox needs a cyber call. That's quite a good. <laughs> I think, I think Cox has one already. The base, he is <laughs> feeling confident. And Cox already made the cyber call. Amazing play. Oh, Cancel, <laughs> cancelling. did we miss that? These players playing too fast for us to keep up. Oh, oh careful! Oh, oh, slow on the fault. If he, <sighs> you say slow on the fault of a Cox, I say amazing reaction time by Bollard. Amazing reaction time by Bollard. He does not get trapped by that force field, and I don't think I don't. Think oh, and, oh, oh my God! And I was about to say the Nexus on a hundred chrono, but as soon as it got to ninety nine, we see double chrono going down. Cox not letting him his Nexus get to full energy this game. That is another. Immortal and we one. see what? we see him making a third mo a mo the third mothership call this game. Will this one die? I don't think so. But time will tell. Block. 
He needs well, to put more workers on the gas. Gas is good. He needs to make yeah, more power on supplies. Supply box. We can see how safe he's playing. I mean, he put down that Nexus and cancelled it to oh, three stalkers. Oh, Twilight Council. Do you know what you do when you're behind? You make a dark shrine, but you can do that even better when you're ahead. I mean, that's a perfect response. Cox has this observer. He has full vision of his opponent's base. He saw there was no detection being made. But then again, the robo just it just started to be produced, but the observer doesn't have vision of that yet. Amazing force fields, trapping his own probe. Maybe not so amazing then. Oh, why, why did he force field? What did <laughs> I miss? I think maybe he thought there were DTs. Maybe. Oh, and Cox's mix does get 100 energy. Saving it for something. Maybe Blink. Maybe Dark Shrine. What will the, this Twilight Council lead to? I think... I think Cox is in a great position to take this series, Ain. What do you think? Uh, I think he's in a great position, but you can't count Bollard out. His Nexus is way faster. He is supply blocked, but he will be producing things soon. I mean, if we look the probe counts, the, when you foregate, the, the biggest problem is you're behind on probes. But he's only behind three on probes, so like, I don't think he's that far behind. And while Cox Cox had his the, has the tech advantage because his Robo is so much faster. But he hasn't thrown in a robo facility yet, so it's not that much faster. And Cox has this toilet counter as well, but he hasn't started researching anything yet. So Cox has some has this tech that he's not using. So like Bollard's definitely still in this game. And Cox's neck is still a hundred energy, I wonder what he's saving it for. Any ideas? Maybe carriers? I think Tempests. You I think would Tempest. like to see some Tempest. Tempest. Have you heard of the backdoor Tempest strat? Yeah, uh, for, you, for the viewers at home, you position a Tempest here, or here, and then kill the mineral line. It takes a long time, but you, c you, will, you will eventually kill all of the probes. Yes. Of course, the Tempest play is much, is, has become a lot more popular in PvP lately, thanks to... Well, I don't think you can say it's just his thanks to him, but SOS has been using Tempest to great... Uh, success. Throwing down a Stargate or two about seven minutes of the game and then a fleet beacon then croning out Tempests helps him deal with any Colossus based armies with ease and then he, he creates a strong ground army with Immortals, Zealots and Archons. Of course the Archons and then, he, and then he has complete control of both the air and the sky. We see another supply block from Bollard. Nerves getting to him. Hmm, these two Stargates from Bollard we see, we're going to see a Void Ray switch. And void Rays are going to be really good against the Colossus tech from Cox. Cox needs to see this and then identify it and then go throw down a Templar Archives. That's the correct response when you see Double Stargate Void Ray. It is. It is known. It is known. But Double Stargate oh. production from Bollard, he wants Void Rays. Cox, oh, on the other hand, he's got Zealots, Immortals. He only has sentries and two stalks to do with the air. He's yeah, getting colossus. I, mean, I don't think he wants to be doing this. Two stalkers and three sentries can't even kill two void rays. <laughs> and we even see plus one air weapons. Cox is committed to this. Oh, Bollard, sorry. <laughs> Cox is committed to Colossus tech, of course. Getting th extended thermal lance. Getting charge. Nearly finished. There we go. This is so intense. <laughs> The most oh, important man. thing right now is that Cox identifies what his opponent is doing. He has four full energy sentries. He really needs to send a hallucination over just to see what his opponent is up to. Oh, there is a skirmish in the middle of the map. They take the watchtower. Bollard uh, we power can see, can observe We can there. see Bollard playing so well. He has an observer in his main base and with his army because he doesn't want this to be scouted. He says, like, if you send an observer into my main, I'll see it with my observer and then I'll go kill it. He doesn't want this. This is Stargate. He doesn't. Oh, want this. and Zello charge from Cox. Cox is the first hit. Yeah, oh, I think he's gonna lose that though. Yeah, charge is good, but it won't let you win. Imbalanced fights. Oh, and the the oh. probe thinking he can take down the Zello, but he fails. And a third base goes down from Cox. And a dark shrine, my favorite building. But how effective will this? How effective will this be when? Bollard has, Bollard has five three boyfriend. three observers out. I don't think Cox has anything to deal with those. If we look in the main base of both players, we can see 
20 minutes in the game, they're both beginning to mine out. So this third race from Cox is crucial to be able to continue the macro game. Pollard also At, takes the third uh -huh, place. Of course, I mean, if you're mined out, you need another base. We see Cox confidently can take down this Nexus with three Zalots, forcing a cancel even, just with three Zalots. Wow. Such what? excellent play, yeah, uh -huh. and that pays for itself, because you lose 100 minerals when you cancel that. Uh -huh. And the probe, and if he gets his pile um, off, it will yeah. And, and the Void Rays are revealed with that. He knows about the Void Rays. How does he respond? Will we see a he gets his own we see double du Stargate. Double Stargate he respond. To get, he needs to get DTs out, and He's, he needs them now. This is Cox saying, screw the meta game, screw High Templar. I'm going to go double Stargate. Bollard has mined out his main. He has Bollard's, no third. Is this an all-in play? He has no third, but he can take it. Will he take it? He has two Stalkers in his main base. The DT goes in. The Dark Templar goes in. Yeah, and there's, he has three and observers, but they're all out of position. He's killing the pylon. Could this force spot? Could this prompt Bolo into going for a, for an oh, all-in? Oh, he stops the Stargate, but he does, the he doesn't know about the three Stargates. And the observer comes down. The observer paired with the Mothership Core. Cox oh, cleans up the third base. Cox, no, genius decision, sending a, one DT to the main, one to the natural. So. The observer can only be in one place at once. The Eleven kills. The, kills. the third base of Cox does die though. And now, yeah. wow. Okay. We if we look at the the worker charge. count, forty-two to twenty-nine. Both on overcharge, overcharge goes down. Bolon's gonna go in. This is the deciding match. Honor's on the line. This is the decide who's gonna win. The void rays. The void rays. Void rays. The void rays kill everything. There's nothing can hit up now except for the nexus. The nexus is gonna be focus fired. Will it go down? The void rays focus firing. Two void rays on the way from Cox, but will they be out in time? The Colossus dies. He needs to focus the Nexus. Focus the Nexus. The Nexus dies. Nexus wow. Is no He's units. Bases, but two void rays come out for Cox. And, it, walk and walk in Bollard's in. natural, the DT has 33 kills. This game isn't over. A thir 34. 35. 35. This is why I love DTs. 36. But the void rays are uncontested, nothing can hit them. 38! Yeah, I think these void rays are going to win the game. For Bollard. Once ah. again, showing why Stargate play is so good. But the Dark Templar is up to 40 kills, it is an executor. Executor! The highest rank a Protoss unit can achieve. That I is the ultimate. Not even I have achieved this rank. And the void rays die as they spawn, they get spawn killed. GG is called, GG is and. Called and takes the series. And wow, the winner of this epic best of nine is Bollard. I mean, wow, I thought Bollard would, I thought Bradley would win, but I did not think it, the, the series would be that epic. Oh my god, Zane. I think OSL will have, it has a much higher, like, thingy. Thinking <laughs> what? <laughs> the standard has already been set for the next OSL. Yeah, that, they have to beat the quality of these games. The Korean players have a lot to live up to if they want to hope to top these games. That was a very close series, though. Like, oh, that could have gone either way for any player, any time. But uh, when when the four gate first came, my reaction was, okay, Bollard's gonna win. Easily and cleanly, he had, he hit a pylon, and then Cox managed to hold with amazing micro. And I was like, wow, he must have the advantage. He's got a natural. He's got the tech advantage. He's got the work advantage. There's no way he can lose from here. And then Bollard still won with his void ray play. Such but, excellent, I excellent mean, build order. On another day, that easily could have gone Cox's way, but the, um, these two. Okay, I think these two need to play again in a few months' time. They do. On in this show match series. So that's going to conclude this week's epic best of nine show match. We're going to have another one in two weeks' time. I don't know who's playing yet, but they will be announced shortly. And then hopefully we'll be doing a show match every two weeks until the end of time. Until the end of time. Or I die, whichever happens first. Which will happen first, Zane? I'm I not think sure. time will end first. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, so bye bye, viewers. Thanks for watching. Is the stream off yet? I don't know. I have to wait like uh, like thirty seconds before I stop.